Hey guys, I'm your friend Chetan Bola and you are watching Bola Moto. In this video, we will be discussing about the difference between carbureted vehicle and fuel injected vehicle. What is the different advantages, disadvantages? We will be discussing everything about them. Please keep watching this video till the end. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Previously, when fuel injector was not introduced, each and every vehicle was used to have carbureted in them. But when the fuel injection was introduced, it suddenly replaces the carburetor from most of the vehicles. But still, there are several vehicles which are which are manufactured with carburetor. So uh, why the carburetor was replaced? I just want to take your attention towards that. Uh, the carburetor was having several disadvantages, which were, which were very huge uh, disadvantages when you compare them with the fuel injection. Uh, because fuel injection come up with the, uh, rectifying those disadvantages. The, f uh, the major disadvantage of the carburetor was its cold starting problem. Another was its more emission. It, the third one was the less power because of less air fuel mixture uh, or improper air fuel mixture. Some altitude problem whenever you go for mountain rides, the carbureted vehicle was not able to perform that much well. So these are the four major problems of the carbureted vehicle. But when it comes to the fuel injection, it rectifies all of these disadvantages. How it rectifies, I will be explaining you. But before that, I just want to tell you how the carburetor works. I have made a video, detailed video on that. Please watch this video from this I button. So carbureted vehicle, what it does is it, it takes the air from one side and uh, uh, the, the design of the carburetor was li like that. The, uh, the area of this uh, intake manifold reduces at a point and after that it in increases again. It is like a venturi tube and when the air is entering the at the neck of this venturi the pressure drops but uh, due to that pressure drop the fuel is sucked uh, sucked from this uh, at this point and the uh, the fuel comes up comes out to be in atomized form and then it makes a air fuel mixture i hope you understood some basics but if you want to uh, have a detailed uh, video on that you can please click on this i so in uh, so in this way this carburetor works but it it doesn't uh, take care about the temperature the pressure the altitude it doesn't take care about anything it just take care about how much air is entering according to which how much pressure is uh, pressure is low and according to that the fuel is injected fuel is not injected fuel is sucked so that's why this is how it works it is a completely mechanical process it doesn't uh, sense anything but when it comes to the fuel injection system what it does is it uh, sense the amount of air entering inside it it sense the pressure uh, pressure of this air and the third thing is it sense the temperature it takes the three inputs from the air entering inside the engine only from these three intake in inputs it sends the sends the signal to the ecu then ECU just do some algorithms according to the algorithm sets or programmed inside this ECU. It just calculate the amount of fuel that should be injected inside the engine according to these three inputs. Since these three inputs are depending upon uh, your inputs and uh, the uh, atmospheric condition, the amount of air. So that's why the amount of fuel that is injected inside the engine is very much accurate as per the requirements of the engine. Since the uh, fuel is fuel entering inside is uh, accurate, uh, so that's why it is uh, uh, it is rectifying the problem of uh, uh, problem like uh, less power. It is more efficient because the amount of fuel is correct. And the third thing is it is uh, taking the inputs from the temperature also. So that's why it is able to start in cold conditions also. Since it is taking the uh, inputs from the pressure, so it can uh, it can work in the higher altitudes or change in altitude. It can work normally. And uh, this all is uh, already calibrated by the some whole electronic system. You are not the one who is going to calibrate because it is already programmed. So it is taking the it is it is maintaining the air fuel mixture according to the requirement only. Um, in carburetor, the you are the one or the user or the mechanic sets the RPM according by to testing the idling idling screw. But uh, that's not uh, th that doesn't make it efficient. So that's why uh, fuel injected vehicles are more efficient. Also, uh, if we compare it uh, it with the money that uh, that you need to give, uh, uh, let's compare with a bike. Uh, most of the time, when we go for few, uh, Suzuki Jixer, let's take an example. There is there are two variants of uh, Suzuki Jixer, Suzuki Jixer SF and Suzuki Jixer SF FI. The FI is the fuel injected and SF is normal carbureted. When we you compare the money of these two bikes, you you come to see that uh, the fuel injected vehicle, uh, fuel injected bike was five thousand uh, 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 is five thousand more costlier than that of the carbureted vehicle. 
but according to me paying 5000 more for getting more power more efficiency less uh, uh, less emissions is a worth rupees that you can you can pay for a bike if you are uh, buying a 1 lakh rupee bike then 5000 is the nominal price for giving for more power more efficiency the fuel injection is the latest technology uh, so you can believe on it also and but the, there are several disadvantages of fuel injection also and there are several advantages of the carburetor also the uh, advantages of the carburetors are like they are cheaper uh, you can uh, you can get repair get it repaired from each from any of the mechanic you can yourself can repair it i have uh, made some servicing video because i uh, serviced my carburetor by myself only so i d i didn't require to go to any mechanic but when it comes to the fuel injection you need to uh, play with the programming section of the ecu you need to play with the electronics when when it comes to the electronics it becomes more complicated and also uh, the thing is it, it it is requiring more sensors to work uh, work uh, on the uh, fuel injection system so that's why more sensors when any of the sensor doesn't work you need to replace that sensor so it is costlier process uh, you need a fuel injector you need a ec you need some uh, electronic system like sensors so that's why it is quite uh, expensive process so this is all that i just i just wanted to tell you about uh, the difference between the carburetor and the fuel injection system i hope you got to learn something about carburetor versus fuel injection system if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you should share this video to your friends also so that they can also understand the difference between the carburetor and the fuel injected vehicle i hope if you are watching it please share this video to your friends thanks for all guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys keep loving also man